Residents in different parts of the country say there is visible road development in different districts. However, there are some areas that are being left behind, and yet they share borders. These include Rusororo sector in Gasabo district. Residents question why the road from Rujende to Gikomoro is not well constructed while the road from Rujende to Muyumbo in Ramagana district is well tarmacked. The road in Ramagana is done. But here, regardless of the weather, there are problems that arise. The relevant authorities should advocate for us. Regardless of the season, be it sunshine or rain, cars still get stuck on this road. It would be good if they construct this road for us. Failure to provide documentation on the selection of roads to be repaired, failure to identify roads that need urgent construction, Building one part of the road, yet the road connects more than one area. Building roads with no drainage system that leads to damaged roads. Failure to indicate the number of kilometers worked on. These are some of the issues that the members of the Public Accounts Committee have called for Loda to rectify the common interests of the residents. In one area they build a road, but it is incomplete when it links into another road. There seems to be a problem with planning and coordination. They explained to us why they build roads without any physical assessment. I was expecting them to tell us the reason why they do this. Because building a road without conducting a study is like planning a trip and not knowing your destination. The members of parliament pointed out that there are about 28 feeder roads in the country that have been constructed without any physical assessment. In addition to the fact that districts are given the same amount of money, yet the standard of living varies in different districts, which contributes towards the budget they receive for road construction. The Director General of Loda explains that an analysis is being carried out that shows the cooperation of districts in road construction in order for no area to be left behind. There is a plan being prepared for the feeder roads and it is being done by RTDA so that there is a road network linking districts knowing what our priorities are. We think that this will solve the problem because all the plans of the districts will be coordinated. PAC members have called for a reform of the interaction between the local government and the Rwanda Transport Development Agency in order to determine the criteria for road construction. These agencies have been advised to improve the road based on the use of agriculture productivity in the area, education, tourism, industries, and more to help the community rather than delaying them. With the help of technology, various government agencies are continuing to give verbal explanations on the recent Auditor General report. Gabi Movuni, reporting for RTV News.